So in this Khan Academy, uh, a really important note appears right here. It tells you that one of the movable points always just defines an extremum, so a max or a min, and the other one always defines the midline. What does that mean? Well, in this situation right here, this point, if you drag it up and down, see how it's always in the middle of the function? This is my midline point right here, and this is my extremum point right here. That becomes really important because in the cosine function right here, the amplitude is 2, all right, my midline's at negative 1, okay, so I might leave this point here and leave it as the midline, but then when I try and make a cosine function with this extremum, it's really frustrating because, oh my gosh, it's not making a cosine. No matter how I put this, it makes a sine wave, right? Cosine wave, this would be the extremum in the cosine wave. So one easy way to fix that is to swap the order. Swap that order. So now, whoop, I didn't actually do it. Here we go. Now my extremum point is right here. And now my midline point is right here. So what does that mean? Well, here in this case, the midline is at negative 1. It's a cosine function with an amplitude of 2. So here's my midline point, negative 1. I go up 2. Now my amplitude is 2. And my period is 2 pi divided by a half. 2 pi divided by a half is 4 pi. So I should have one cycle completed 4 pi radians here. And actually, it looks like I'm at that right now. You can see that one cycle of the wave, midline and negative one, but you can move this around to get whatever you need. And remember, it's not always gonna, you're not gonna always be able to see one cycle on the graph, and that's actually intentional. So I think this is correct. There we go. All right, so again, you've got one point as a midline, one point as an extremum. In the case of a cosine, swap the left-right order of those. And sine, you can usually leave it in the other order I find so far. I hope that helped.